All right, we're gonna take a look at the pack aid. This is a new invention by my buddy Brian Way, um, bpway.com, called the pack aid. And what it is is a device, a, a, some parts and pieces that all go together on the old Milwaukee. 20 inch organizer boxes to make them compatible with the pack out box from Milwaukee. This new uh, stackable storage system that Milwaukee has. Very nice system, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't account for the old boxes that a lot of us have been using. I, in particular, use them not only as organizers for fittings, screws, nuts, bolts, but I also put my tools in them using the Kaizen foam. So, I don't want to have to switch all of this over to the new system. I want to use the new system to carry more tools, more hardware, but I want to keep my old organizers. So Brian came up with this new system called the Pack Aid. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through this. So it comes with four of these HPD plastic uh, CNC blocks with some adhesive tape on them. It comes with a latch system um, that's very easy to install. It comes with stainless steel hardware, screws, nuts, and bolts. And then a three-way template here that he's machined out on his CNC. So I watched his video on his site. I'm pretty confident that I can do this myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a box that has an old insert in it. I'm going to remove that and I'm going to fit it so that that box is now compatible with the new pack aid system. So we'll start right now by taking the old box apart, which is real simple. I'm just gonna take my old tools out of it, remove the foam. So there we go. We've got a organizer box here, ready for the pack aid system. So I'm gonna take the template and I'm going to drill that out by placing it as such right in line where the handle is going to go. And I'm going to drill two holes, uh, 564s through the template as starters. Okay, now what I'm going to do is drill those out to quarter inch um, so I can fit my handle on the new system very easily so let's grab a quarter inch bit here and then I'll uh, grab my hardware and I've been told by Brian that I got to do this by hand so I'm going to fit these truss bolts through the front of the handle here okay what I've got is some uh, speed tape fast cap speed tape on the back side of the handle uh, bracket so I remove that tape mount it before I press I'm going to push the nut or the bolt through the um, the hole in the tape. Okay. These stainless nuts on there. So I guess the key here, according to Brian, is do this by hand because you don't want this to be too tight. You want this uh, front latch to be able to lift up and down with the push of your thumb easily that looks like that'll work get that I think we're covered there now I just need to uh, make sure I'm into the nylon uh, nylon on these lockers Perfect. Next step is to get the blocks placed and stuck to the bottom of the old organizer. 
So how we're going to do that is these HBD blocks have uh, uh, they've been routed out on the CNC machine to fit perfectly in and accept into these slots on the new packout boxes. A little bit of play, which is good. We don't want them tight. And they're going to have one in each corner here. So four blocks, all four corners there. And I'm going to remove this adhesive strip. The adhesive is just going to help hold the blocks on the bottom of the case while I drill them and place them. It's not an integral into its uh, performance at all. So I'm going to have those nice and snug in there. And then what I want to do is I want to line up this latch with this notch in the top box, top of the organizer box here. So I can take and line it up perfectly because that will give me my side to side alignment. As long as I'm straight, I should be able to drop it down and be aligned with those blocks. Okay, now perfectly aligned means if I put this template here, which says front, rear, and then the handle template, I'm going to put the rear, and I'm going to start in this back corner, it just slides in there. There's four little, it's hard to see on camera, but there's four little uh, template holes there. I'm going to drill through those into the block. And I want to use a drill with an extension so I can get past this um, side of the case here. Okay, now I just simply flip the template over, place it in the corner, and do the other side. Now I've got the backs drilled. I can easily drill the front by aligning this notch with the corner because it's going to accept the little... Um, indents on that corner there and I'll just do it the front the same as I did the back. And since these are plastic, I'm going to do these by hand. All right, there we go. Get them all snugged up perfectly here. Test it out, see how it goes. I'll lift the latch, pull it forward, and there you go. There are your feet there. You can see everything in place perfectly. And I can just test it by putting the, the latch on there. And it grips nicely. Very cool, very, very cool. Well, since this is probably one of my favorite boxes right here, what I'm going to do is take the foam out of this one and place it in my new setup. The M12 Fuel Hacksaw. It's one heck of a tool. We'll get um, the M12 fuel impact. Here's a new one here. I've been carrying that around for a little while. I'd like to have a couple of them. Let's see how it works. All right, filled with tools. Organizer pack out. Awesome job. Nice job, Brian.